Hey guys, welcome back. It's Matt here. And today I'm going to be showing you guys my new setup on my S20 Ultra. So many of you have known that I haven't really used a launcher in a while because I really do like the new Android 10 gestures. I really like the fluidity of it, especially with the 120 hertz display. I think it's just really, really great. However, I'm just getting a little bit bored of that standard Samsung One UI launcher, and so I've went ahead and installed a new one, and I've got a whole new setup, so I thought I'd just show off to you guys, see if you like it, and let you know how you guys can actually make it for yourself, in case you want a launcher like this. But already I feel my phone's much snappier, just the way the launcher feels, the animations, the way I access the app drawer, is just a little bit more how I like it. It's that little bit more stock. I think I'm going to stick with this for a while, even though I can only use the navigation buttons. There is these other gestures you can use, but I'm not really a big fan of them, so I'll probably just stick with the buttons. A really nice new rumor that I really do hope is true is that apparently the new One UI is coming out, I think it's 2.5, and that's supposed to have third-party launcher support for the native Android 10 gestures. So fingers crossed, I really do hope that comes out because I'm really eagerly waiting um, I've been waiting for quite a while and so I've just kind of given up at this point. So I've switched back officially to Launcher 2. Launcher 2 is a great launcher. I did used to use Nova Launcher in the past, but I just feel like Launcher is just that little bit more polished. And overall, I like the animations and the fluidity of swiping around, especially the bouncing animations in the app drawer. It just feels very pixely and I really do like that. Now the icon pack I'm using is a OnePlus icon pack. The link will be down below, but it's really, really nice. It's basically just a pixel icon pack, but it does have some exclusive OnePlus icons like the camera, the phone, other things like the calendar, the calculator. Um, I just really like that OnePlus feel. And so I've kind of mixed a pixel and a OnePlus together to get my current launcher. I've also got the Google feed on the left because I really do like reading articles. I really don't want to jump in and out of Google News all the time. And so that's really handy just to have that there. And one of my favorite things is the fact that you can use the Google search bar to actually search for your system apps as well as browse the web. So if you hit enter, it will do a Google search. But if you don't, it will pop up with the app that you searched. But I will leave a backup link down below. I will export a backup for Launcher 2 so you guys can easily restore all the settings. So I don't really have to go through everything one by one and show you what's ticked and what isn't but realistically i'm just going to go over some basic things i've done so as you can see i've got a five by five widget i tend to like my icons lower down on the screen because it's a big phone it's 6.9 inches so i really struggle to reach towards the top so really nice to just have everything accessed towards the bottom and that's why i do also have the swipe up gesture which actually pulls open the app drawer and then i've got a vertical scrolling app drawer it just makes it a lot easier Pretty much the only apps I have on my home screen are system apps and social apps. So pretty much just Snapchat, Instagram, Facebook, and obviously your system apps like the Play Store, um, even like YouTube. The only real exception is YouTube Studio, which is only really needed if you have a YouTube channel and you wanna monitor your analytics. Other than that, I just have the camera, Google Pay, browser, Spotify, pretty much standard stuff that you probably all have on your device. If I'm looking for something more in depth or something that isn't on the home screen, I can easily go ahead and search. I'm just much more or less likely to go ahead and open things more frequently if they're not a stock app or something like social media. I do keep a second page, which has some things that I do use, but not quite as often as the first page. And that's simply the wallpaper apps that I showed off yesterday. So there is a link to the video down below, but you can go check out the video on these top three wallpaper apps. There's also Netflix as well as a calendar, a calculator, um, and also my banking apps and my Nike Adapt app. So I can actually go ahead and unlace and lace up my shoes. That's also quite important. I do use that quite a bit. Something else I've installed is Sesame. This is basically an extension for the hold down toggles that come up when you hold down on an app. So basically just brings up more options there. It's similar to 3D Touch, um, but it just gives you that little bit more functionality. And I think it's worth having. I mean, it is free. Something else I really like about Launcher, especially Launcher 2 that brings me back every time is this widget at the top. So it's kind of like the Google stock widget. It shows you your weather, your clock, calendar events that pop up. But this one also shows notifications if you get messages. And it will show you the actual message up at the top there, which is super handy because I'm always on my home screen. And really, if I'm setting reminders or getting messages from people, it's really nice to be able to see that right at the top of my home screen. I also tend to be the guy that swipes away things and I kind of forget about them because I'm doing videos. I don't really want notifications cluttered up under my device. So I do tend to swipe them away. So also seeing them pop up here where I can easily click on it is really, really nice. But yeah, anyway, guys, 
that's pretty much my device right now. That's pretty much the whole setup I'm going for. I'll probably make tweaks and install more KWGT widgets and things like that, which I'll feature in an update video. Um, but for now, that's pretty much how I'm rocking my device. Um, pretty much quite simple, elegant, and it's got that sort of twist between OnePlus and Pixel. So let me know your opinion on that and let me know down below about your setups. Let me know anything you might think that I'm interested in, like icon packs, widgets, anything like that. Mention it to me because I'm super interested to try it out. Anyway guys, thank you for watching. And I'll see you guys later.